in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I'll save a seat for you. If there is one series of videos on my channel that I and a lot of other people don't talk about, it's definitely my ranking videos. While they all have done really well in terms of views, and one of them is one of my favourite videos I've ever made, I've pretty much left that series of videos to die as I don't really know what else I could rank. But after seeing a comment from someone which unfortunately I can't find anymore, I realised that I haven't ranked one of the most important things when it comes to Thomas himself. His voice. Thomas's voice has actually been a lot more varied than you would think. Each voice actor who has played Thomas has made the character their own in some way. Some have done it perfectly and some had a lot of work to do. So today, I'll be ranking every mainstream English speaking Thomas voice from worst to best. Coming in at last place, we have Martin Sherman. Martin Sherman is a prime example of a simply just bad Thomas voice. Martin just doesn't sound like Thomas should. Here's some clips of him to show what I mean. Oh dear, Gordon. <laughs> I see you've got stuck on your hill again. Red pants? Danger signal! <laughs> Hold on, sir! I'm coming to help you! Sir! Oh no! Bother. I'll have to wear my heavy snow plow. Cinders and ashes. Not only is he a bad sounding voice for Thomas, he also just doesn't have anywhere near as much energy as his UK counterpart, Ben Small. I don't know if it was the voice director who was at fault here, or if he was just blatantly phoning it in and not even trying to cover it up. Here are some comparison clips of Martin and Ben. The difference between them is immense. You can do whatever you want to, and I want to win. You can do whatever you want to, and I want to win. Hooray! I did it! Hooray! I did it! <sighs> Cinders and ashes! I've broken my brakes! <gasps> Cinders and ashes! I've broken my brakes! Oh no! Oh! Help! Oh no! Oh! Help! Help! I can't stop! Help! I can't stop! Fenders and funnels, how can I stop? Fenders and funnels, how can I stop? Also, I know this isn't about Thomas's voice, but Martin Sherman also voiced Percy in the US dub of the CGI series. And my god. If you think Martin Sherman's Thomas voice was bad, then you haven't heard shit. Because just listen to this. Big balloons make my boiler bubble, Thomas! Oh, shut up! Now, don't get me wrong, Martin Sherman definitely got somewhat better over time. In Ten of the Brave, he's pretty decent. Not amazing, but decent. But for me, Martin just wasn't good at all. For season 13 through 16, he was just plain bad. And I feel that Martin didn't really adapt to the new style of season 17 very well. So everything he did just came off as half-assed and boring. As a voice for Thomas, Martin Sherman gets a 2 out of 10. Those two points coming from Tell of the Brave and season 18. Coming in at 5th place is, and I know this is going to surprise a lot of you, it's John Bellis. Yes, I know, even I'm surprised that I've changed my opinion this drastically. And when it comes to my opinion on John as Thomas, it's the most blatant statement, but it's oh so true. He's too old. Just listen to him, man. I completely understand where Brett was coming from in terms of John being a Liverpudlian, but he's just way too old. He's way too deep to be an individual Thomas voice amongst all of the other cast members. Even in the director's cut, he just stood out like a sore thumb. Here are some clips to show John's performance. He's not a bad voice actor by any means, but his voice just doesn't suit Thomas. Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. And you're being bossy, Gordon. Now, please excuse me. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's taking care of us while Sir Topham Hat takes a very important holiday. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? Through the buffers? But what if I go on the railway and my wheels don't work? But what if, eh, what if it's dark and cold? And how will I get back again? Then I'll try. In summary, John Bellis is very much an oddball amongst all of the other Thomas voices. I completely understand why people would love him, but Thomas's youthful character and endearing appearance really didn't suit a literal random middle-aged person Brit found off the street. Who would have thought? John Bellis gets a 4 out of 10. I'm sure he's a lovely bloke, but he just didn't cut it. Coming in at 4th place, we have Joseph May. Joseph May is actually the first person on this list I would genuinely consider 
good. As the only bad Thomas voice out there for me is Martin Sherman. But like I was saying, Joseph May was a decent Thomas voice, but only for two years. Yeah, for some reason, Joseph May just gave up after Journey Beyond Sodor, and I have no idea why. It's so odd to me because in Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure, Joseph May was amazing as Thomas. Just listen to this. That is absolutely fantastic voice acting. Something else I love about Joseph May's Thomas voice is that in The Adventure Begins, which if you didn't know is a film where Thomas first arrives on Sodor, he gives Thomas a higher pitch of voice to suit his younger character in the film. And I love that. It's so fitting and a great little detail that I'm still not really sure whether or not it was intentional or not because it could have just been him getting used to the voice of Thomas himself. Here's a few audio clips to show what I mean. Always wanted to come here. I... Hello? What's the matter? Do I have soot on my face? No, it's just, well, you're not a big engine. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, I was big enough to do my work on the mainland. But like I said, he just dropped the ball after Journey Beyond Sodor. His shouting became very dull, his singing became ear-piercing and was awfully covered up by auto-tune, and there was no emotion there anymore. It felt like he didn't care anymore. And if I'm being honest, I kind of get it. Like, think about it. As soon as the Big World Big Adventures era kicked off, he became awful. I don't know if Joseph May just liked Big World Big Adventures or not, but you could tell he was getting very fed up by season 24. And also, I know this is going to sound very typical, but Thomas with an American accent just doesn't work. Sodor is canonically connected to the UK and is a British island. So it just sounds so odd when you've got an American voice actor playing a British steam engine. This goes for the full cast too. And I know what you're thinking, but what about the US dub for the classic series? You said you love George Carlin and he's American. Now, here's the thing. The narrator for the classic series voiced everyone, literally everyone everyone so with that i can make an exception not only that but like come on it, it's george carlin like, you cannot fault that man but yeah like i was saying joseph may was really bad in the big world big adventures era the last good piece of voice acting joseph may did for thomas was in some time to make a friend he wasn't anywhere near as good as john hassler but he's still really really good in that song and just to prove how good it is i made a little duet of john hassler and joseph may singing some time to make a friend both of them absolutely killed it sometimes you make a friend the kind of friend who stays sometimes you make a friend and you're the one who goes away sometimes you're the one who acts a bit unkind you didn't think and you did something you can't forget and can't rewind I'm sorry, so sorry And I don't know what to do With you so far away I'm sorry, so sorry And as soon as I see you That's exactly what I'm going to If Joseph kept his energy consistent throughout his entire run, he would be a lot higher on this list. But unfortunately, he dropped the ball halfway through. Joseph May gets a 5 out of 10. Coming in at third place, we have Ben Small. Ben Small is the exact opposite of Martin Sherman. He's a simply good. 
Thomas voice. What I find interesting about Ben Small is that his best performances were in his debut appearance Fenders and funnels, how can I stop? and in his last appearance. Those in between years of Hero of the Rose and Tale of the Brave are very much a double ended sword, as in the terrible Three Strikes Formula episodes from season 13 through 16, he's pretty bad. Not as a Thomas voice, but just listening to him say the exact same stupid rhymes three times in a row is understandably infuriating. When asking my friends in a Discord server about what Thomas voice they thought was the worst, a lot of them weren't particularly fans of Ben Small. And if I'm completely honest, I kind of get it. He is very high pitched and squeaky sometimes, which can be very annoying. But at the same time, he definitely had some of the most emotionally filled and heartfelt line deliveries in the entire series. Percy, you have to get out of there! Percy! Oh! Don't listen to Diesel! Let me explain! Luke, don't chuff away from me! Please listen! Luke! Rocky, please lift me onto Owen's platform. Please, Rocky. The fat controller will make sure of that. Don't listen to him, Luke. I know what really happened. You didn't do anything wrong. Luke! Luke! Thomas cried. He definitely understood Thomas's character by his later years of voicing Thomas around Blue Mountain Mystery. In my opinion, Ben Small was great at voicing Thomas. He definitely had his bad moments, but my god, did he have his amazing ones. Ben Small gets a 7 out of 10. Now, before I unveil the best Thomas voice, let's just quickly decide on which narrator suits Thomas best. Honestly, I would say Mark Morahan. Just listen to his Thomas voice. It's so good. Hello, said Thomas. Who are you? I'm Bertie. Who are you? I'm Thomas. I run this branch line. Help me, said Thomas. I can go faster than you. I like to look at his Thomas voice and imagine the classic series trio as this. Mark Morahan as Thomas. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas happily. George Carlin as Percy. Oh, dear, thought Percy. Harold's come to laugh at me. And Michelangelo as James. Why should a splendid engine like me take messy coal trucks instead of coaches? Percy and Oliver should do it. They're not as important as I am. That would be genuinely perfect. Anyway, back to the Thomas voices. The best Thomas voice actor of all time is... Both of them. Let me explain. When I think of the voice of Thomas the Tank Engine, Eddie Glenn comes into my head. Despite what a lot of people say, I think Eddie Glenn is Thomas. His Thomas voice is one in an English accent. Not a strong one, but an English accent at that. Two, he's not too high pitched like Ben Small. And three, he's not some random middle aged man. Not only does Eddie Glenn have the voice of Thomas, he also has fantastic line deliveries. He knows how to do teasing lines. Five, six, seven, eight. Practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. He knows how to do sad lines. Mr. Conductor, Mr. Conductor. Thomas. Oh, Mr. Conductor, where are you? Shocked lines. Oh, bus my boiler! I left the coal truck behind. Patch and Noki count on you. Stop, wheel, stop! Run, lady, quickly, and I'm going to help you. Big cheese, hungry. Oh, get back! Come on, lady! Little engines can do big things! And by far his best lines are the worried lines. This scene here is absolutely made by Eddie Glenn's performance. However, while Eddie Glenn is the voice of Thomas, John Hassler owned the voice of Thomas. John Hassler's vocal range is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not going to say too much more. Here is just a compilation of John Hassler being amazing. Come on, Nia! Welcome to Sodor! I wish I was back at Timoth. Uh, uh, if we don't get rescued soon, it'll take until spring to warm up my boiler. I am so sorry, sir. It's all my fault. I know it is. Thomas. But I... The 
treasure! Marion, you found it! Boo -boo. <laughs> Frankie and Hurricane won't let you leave! Quick, James! We've got to get out of here now! Go! Ah! No! Take the tracks that go around the building, James! Oh, get my treasure back, Thomas! No, Sailor John! That treasure didn't belong to you, and it didn't belong to the pirates. It was stolen. So it's going to the museum, and that's the end of it. <laughs> but by far the best thing John Hassler did as Thomas were the songs. My God, John Hassler kills it at singing. Sky. Don't let the world pass you by. Oh, you thought that was it? Well, just listen to this. So I'll hold on to hope, I'll hold on tight For a chance to make things right I'm looking for you, I'll come through If it takes me all my life I'm sorry, so sorry And I don't know what to do John Hassler is absolutely amazing as Thomas. He understood the character better than anyone else. And unlike Joseph May, he stayed after the series ended and is still to this day doing the Storytime podcast with Mark Morahan. That just goes to show how dedicated he is. But yeah, my favourite Thomas voice switches every week or so. One week it will be Eddie Glenn and then the next day it's John Hassler. But it's safe to say that both of these voice actors are Thomas in one way or another. And to end off this video, let's just have one more sing-along with the UK cast. It'd be rude not to. Nobody has to be the favourite. can help. It's not a competition in the end. Everybody join in. It doesn't matter if you prove that you're the best. Everybody can win. But what will happen when you put your friendship to the test? Never mind about who is the favourite.